Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my uh, predictions for Frozen 3 video, as I promised. Uh, now, uh, uh, who doesn't want a Frozen 3 uh, after seeing uh, all of the uh, um, open endings uh, uh, of uh, uh, Frozen 2? <laughs> so without further ado, if you want to know my predictions uh, for a possible third instalment uh, uh, in the Frozen franchise, then just keep watching. First things first, uh, my... Uh most major prediction for uh, Frozen 3 would be the revelation that uh, Elsa and Anna's mother, Iduna, uh, survived uh, the uh, shipwreck. Uh, and uh, this was uh, a revelation I, well, I was praying uh, would happen in the second movie, and I felt kind of gutted that it didn't. I think uh, if, if Iduna's uh, l lullaby all is found as to Elsa and Anna in the opening of Frozen 2 didn't indicate that she may still be alive. I don't know what does, but uh, maybe there's more to the story than we think. Maybe Agonar, uh, when the ship was going down, because Iduna, as we all know, saved his life uh, uh, when the Northaldra and Erendelians uh, uh, were at war. Maybe uh, when the ship is going down, he he doesn't want her to drown. He he puts her before himself, so he saves her life in return, just in time. And as uh, he does, and she success, and she safely sweeps to shore. That's when maybe Iduna could uh, meet up with uh, the main antagonist of a Frozen Free. Frozen 2, of course, uh, had no primary antagonist. It was... The the threat itself uh, was uh, Arendelle's destruction uh, from from uh, the uh, spirits uh, and and the Northaldra being trapped in the Enchanted Forest forever. But, uh, I, but, I, but Frozen 3 should have a villain because... Because Disney have been lacking in classic villains severely in in their in their revival age. So for the 2020s decade, they have better uh, uh, have uh, stronger villains uh, again, and not just cliched uh, twist villains. You know, have have the villain, you know, be far more prominent uh, and relevant to the narrative, and. Uh, and and uh, and this villain I thought uh, could be magical to show that magic and non-magical people are not well that it's not just one-sided. You can get some evil non-magic people and some evil magical people. And this dude who I who maybe who his name could be I am here. He knows that the some of the non-magic well haven't. Uh, accepted or trusted the magic in the past, just like how King Rufgarb, Agnar's father, betrayed the Northaldra and started the war and built the dam in the first place, and how the people of Arendelle initially, uh, well, uh, did, were, were terrified of Elsa because, because of her ice powers, uh, as so, so Fyamir, he hasn't moved on, he hasn't he he just can't accept that there can be peace between the magic and and non magic. As he sees uh, that uh, Elsa and Anna are attempting to unite to the magic and non magic uh, of this world uh, in in peace uh, as a threat to his cause. He just wants well the magic to rule at this world. Uh, he he's tired of them constantly having to go into hiding. So so he captures Iduna as he uh, senses that, well, one of her daughters, Elsa, is, is magical like him, and I thought he could have fire powers, be to, because fire is literally the opposite of ice, and he imprisons Iduna all, for all these years uh, in, in his fortress, uh, which would look like a volcano, and Iduna, to explain how she was calling Elsa to Ussa Holland in Frozen 2, I think she would be calling from the cage. And also I predict Fire Rear would have a epic uh, D 
Disney villain song because uh, uh, when was the last uh, time we had uh, a grand Disney villain song in a Disney classic? Uh, not since uh, the Disney Renaissance back in the 90s, I don't think. Uh, this this would be the Be Prepared of Frozen. And and yeah, it, 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 Rachel Evan Ruder would love to reprise her role as a Dune. I think she would be delighted to hear that her character survived and also have a classic English actor voice pirate. They're always the best at voicing the villains. And 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 yeah, I think I think Iduna deserves a second chance to bond with her daughters again after not after not seeing them for uh for, for uh so long now. That would give Frozen Free tremendous heart and it would be one of the most heartwarming Disney reunions ever. And it would be unexpected because we don't expect to see, well, a mother with this big a role in a Disney movie ever. As for Anna's role in Frozen 3, uh, Anna will, I think, will come of age more than ever in this third movie. And uh, I think the, uh, the beginning of her story will be her wedding to Kristoff, as that was set up uh, in... Uh, the ending of Frozen 2, of course, and uh, I think uh, her and Kristoff will be, well, I, uh, we'll see how they rule, rule Arendelle as queen and king, and then they will have a, years will pass and they will have a daughter of their own. So Elsa will become an aunt and Iduna will uh, have a granddaughter, and uh, uh, I, I want Frozen 3 personally to be the darkest of the trilogy because uh, we need we need Disney to uh, go go back to the days where they weren't afraid to uh, to uh, give kids uh, darker movies uh, that uh, put the characters to the test. Uh, so uh, I'm so sorry, Kristoff fans, uh, but I predict Kristoff will be killed off in Frozen 3 by the villain when the villain uh, may come to Arendelle and uh, and destroy it so, uh, and that will I mean that will be most upsetting for for both Anna and Kristoff of all the, no sorry Sven of all the characters because Anna would have just lost her husband and Sven would have just lost to his well his his best pal and and it's and also especially upsetting for their daughter because she she would have lost her father uh, extremely young, uh, so I think at Kristoff's funeral I think uh, well Elsa and Anna will be there, uh, Sven and Olaf and and the and the daughter and and I also think Iduna will uh, be there just to pay her respects to the son-in-law that she. Uh, well, uh, never really got to meet. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, Disney have been lacking in, you know, uh, uh, you know, a heart wrenching moment so that to uh, make uh, the kids and the parents cry in their movies recently. So, I think Frozen Three needs to bring that back, you know, to to uh, to just to hit us in the feels, and I think. Kristoff's funeral will be will, will be uh, one of Disney's most emotional moments in years. And to be honest, Kristoff had the least to do of the protagonists in Frozen Two, so I don't. I think there would there wouldn't be much for him to do in Frozen Three except Mariana and have uh, his daughter with her. Uh, but don't worry, Olaf will be safe in. Frozen 3, even though Olaf will have less songs and jokes than he did in Frozen 1 and 2, because I want this movie to be more mature than its two predecessors, like I said. And finally, after the loss of Kristoff, I think Anna uh, and uh, Elsa will make the decision to, well, uh, take the people of Arendelle and the Northaldra to a place where the magic and the non-magic can live in peace. You may have noticed of all the characters I have predictions uh, for, for Frozen 3, I have barely mentioned Elsa. Well, 
fear not, Sir Frozen fans, as uh, Elsa, don't worry, she will uh, still be, well, uh, the most uh, the most major character in this movie, because Frozen has always been her, her story, and uh, I would love her for Frozen 3 to not just have one or two fight scenes uh, with the villain Fyro, we get to see a battle of ice and fire, which uh, which will be epic to finally see a villain of, uh, of magic that's uh, Elsa's equal, but all but also, I would, I I would I'd love Elsa and Anna to have even more sisterly moments together, especially as as Elsa would be well, a com the best comfort Anna could have after after Anna just lost her husband and and. Uh, and I and Elsa would I think she would uh, adore her niece and love being an answer for for the first time. But but I would love Elsa to well and and Honey Marin, the Northolder girl from Frozen Two, who informed Elsa of the fifth spirit uh, that could uh, bring them together in Usa Holland. I would love them to become a couple uh, because Elsa. Let's face it. I think Elsa is is gay. She has never shown any romantic interest in a male character, and she got well, particularly close to Honey Marin in that one moment they shared alone. I mean, I mean that that moment has literally uh, s set them up to date for life. I think so. I mean, and and if. And if the fans are want Elsa and Honey Marin to become a couple, then don't be afraid to have them be a couple just because it's a, a Disney movie. By all means, make it happen. Uh, it would, I mean, we already had, Disney already put in their first uh, gay couple in, in Onwards, so... So, uh, so why not in Frozen? Uh, that, and, and, and it would... And it would be lovely for Elsa to uh, find somebody as well as Anna. I don't want Elsa to just be single and alone for the rest of her life. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Fr Frozen Free, I hope, uh, is, uh, is as perfect a conclusion to the Frozen trilogy as it can be. Please, Disney, uh, make make Frozen 3 happen, because I think there is still more story to tell with, with Frozen. I think, I think uh, Frozen 3 left the door open, uh, no, sorry, I think Frozen 2 left the door open for a third movie uh, perfectly, so yeah, I think we'll most likely get this movie in, in 2023, and that would be the ideal release that would be oh, literally on the first movie's 10th anniversary oh and i almost forgot to mention you can't have frozen uh freer without the songs or so they would need a, a one or two or even three musical numbers for elsa that uh, can live up to the majesty of uh, let it go into the unknown and show yourself. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, uh, predictions video. And what are your predictions and hopes for Frozen 3? I would love to hear them. Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. But please uh, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time when I review a Scuba, which is thankfully uh, on digital. And I'll also be reviewing Willy Wonka as requested. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.